Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine. I'm here with Carmen Rogue, who we know is now the uh, vice president of sales for Princess Cruises. She is hosting the Avoya uh, annual conference on Discovery Princess. And we're going to talk about that ship and also about how to sell Princess Cruises in general here on Insider Travel Report. Carmen, thank you for talking to us. Alan, it is my absolute pleasure, as you know. I absolutely look, come and, and, and really share our passionate princess with you. And you are just so kind to us. So I want to thank you for everything you do um, well, all the time. Thank you. Discovery Princess, we're on it. There were a couple things you wanted to focus on and really show the travel advisors. So let's talk about that. So, so it's interesting because, as you know, I mean, I started my career 42 years ago. I'm going to stop saying that, but stop I'm lying. Say, I'm lying. I'm lying at Carnival Cruise Lines, right? Carnival Corp. And I remember I represented every single brand except Princess. And when I look back, I got into this industry because of the love boat. Who doesn't? It is the show that elevated an industry. So to come full circle, I've been here 18 months to come full circle. And for the first time, beyond princess after i had done every single one of the carnival brands the leading cruise line brands it was exciting and by the way my first ship was this one discovery princess which is absolutely stunning but the reality is they all are no no but let's because they know that let's let's expound on the new things there were like three things you wanted to cover well i want to cover the piazza right because this is the one thing i realized why we have such loyalists at our brand our guest no no matter what ship you go on that's part of the princess fleet you can blindfold them they're going to have the piazza you're going to have the embrace of the brand from the moment you get on i've been on ships nobody entertains or uses that space and by the way that is like a, a nice nod yeah. to our italian heritage and most people don't even i didn't know that until i got here so you look at the piazza and they have so many activities there um well, just today just today the puppies don't even go there my God. So I, I posted on Facebook and I said, I think I'm coming home and I need an Alaskan, please, an puppy. Alaskan, yeah. That, But that is exclusive to us. And let me tell you, so when I think about that experience with the puppies in the piazza, getting educated, because it was an education to help us understand the culture. We immerse people in Alaska. That's why we're number one, hands down. But to me, I kept thinking, I wish I had done this with my kids because the kids at the piazza, it just lit me up. I actually turned into a kid myself. I was lying down, <laughs> petting the dog. I wanted him with me. And that is, that's the kind of stuff that sets you apart and allows us to make memories of a lifetime, right? And it's all in the piazza. That's that traditional cruising that you're able to do. And it, it's got the glamour of the love boat. And it's three stories. And talk about some of the stuff that they that's on those three flyers. Elegant, elegant, elegant. So when you look at, again, it revolves around the piazza. So you've got, whether it is Gigi's, Alfredo's, whether you've got the amazing gelato. Can we just talk? By the way, only company that the Italian government has blessed to be able to say we are commissioned by them shall I say I'm gonna I'm using my own words mm -hmm. incredible and that is the magic of it because no matter where you are in those levels you're able to see what's going on and share with your fellow client you know your fellow guest and that's what sets us apart I love the spiral staircases but anyone who's afraid of them there are normal staircases right right nearby oh come on as long as they're not see-through, I'm okay. I'm afraid of heights. They're beautiful. It's so elegant, the marble. And then the champ, were you there when they did the Champagne Tower, which is an amazing tribute. I love when they do it. So all of our guests take turns pouring the champagne. As a guest. It's Talk about tradition as it goes, comes down this gorgeous, gorgeous pyramid of old-fashioned champagne glasses. Those kind of traditions is what our guests love. Now let's move on to something we're going to do together tomorrow. 360. I, I first let me just say there is nobody that doesn't it's not a culinary experience it's beyond that it is an experience of all your sight senses touch feel you name it it is that unique all right so I haven't done it yet but but what I'm, I'm kind of projecting that it might be like IMAX with a meal IMAX with a are you Alan 
I'm going to blow you away. IMAX doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what this experience is. From the moment they greet you, uh, you, I can't wait to you experience it because let me tell you, again, sight, sound, smell, taste, and I shouldn't give it away, but Brooke Shields actually is the hostess with the mostest, but it is done so creatively. There's nowhere, I've never had a meal like that. I've never had an experience like that. It's not culinary, it's more than that. Now, let's move on to the other thing that you were gonna tell us about, the spa special here. Okay. This, is, this is not just a spa, this is something special. Oh, absolutely. So the Enclave, it's expanded into our Lotus Spa feature, and what it is is, it's super unique. So it's the central feature of our princess, largest ever thermal suite, dramatic hydrotherapy pool and and when you think of rejuvenation that's what that's about right so it's about rejuvenating not just the mind the body the spirit right so you've got cascading rain showers therapeutic air jets in various locations around the pool and you know it's adults only which is really unique because again people don't think of us as a kid brand but we have amazing experiences for children so they get to so our guests get to choose from either they can relax on a heated stone bed or a soothing water bed, steam, sauna, you know, just take that spa experience. Mm -hmm. it, it, it takes it to the next, next level. I mean, it is spectacular. It is a retreat like none other and very unique to us. So now let's switch to what you're really good at. Selling. So I got to tell you, this is to me the most important thing. And I've seen it. I've witnessed it firsthand on board. And I tell our travel partners, there's three key elements. I call them the anchors that your clients, our guests want. That is Wi-Fi. And by the way, this medallion class experience is like none other, none other. It allows us to have this ocean sized vessel with 3000 guests have a one size fits one approach to service. Unbelievable. It pays to plus. So I've actually tagged that because Wi-Fi, gratuities, and what else? Beverage package. Those are the three anchors. There's a lot more coming out with the plus program and Princess Premier. But those three anchors, you get commission on. Your guests, your clients are going to pay for that on board anyway. It pays to plus. It should be part of your selling dialogue to ensure you're getting the commission. But more importantly, when we do the research and surveys with our guests, those who've either paid for Plus or Princess Premier, 99.5% satisfaction ratio. You are, you, what you're doing is building an annuity in your business, it, part of your portfolio. It pays to Plus, it should be part of the sales dialogue each and every time when you sell our brand. Uh, not to interrupt that, but I do want to go back to the medallion. Uh, I have footage of me walking up to my door. And what happened? Automatically opens. It is like, oh, yeah. yes, yeah. of course it does. By the way, if it was your birthday, every deck you're on, it would say, happy birthday, Alan, your door. I mean, listen, I wish I had this kind of technology when my kids were little. I'm going to date myself, Alan, but I remember I used to have to rent little walkie talkies at Radio Shack to give my kids. And then still I would call them. They would never answer. So I'd have to schlep my body up 12 flights of stairs. This, you don't need that anymore. You link your family members, your friends, whoever you're traveling with, and your children. I know where they are. Actually, I'm more worried about my husband who's always up at Churchill smoking a cigar and having a nice cognac. But this is priceless. And not that I'm beating up on the husband, but you know how many times on other cruise lines I have to go downstairs and get another key because guess what? He demagnetized the key, got another one. I don't have to do that anymore. George, I'm done going downstairs and getting 10 different versions. This is magical. Let's talk about the, you're certainly multi-gen. Let's talk about who's the, what's the demographics and, and who, who, who should the travel advisor be citing? So I got to tell you, even for me, this was an experience. It was an eye-opening experience because I always thought of, again, the love boat. You think of a princess guest, probably thinking the old cast, the old kind of stereotype. Not at all. It's active, active, active. Multi-gen, definitely. Again, this facilitates that when you're looking at the different generations. From a group perspective, that is spectacular. Active seniors, and by the way, I'm reclassifying. Seniors are not 55. I'm so sorry, it should be 85 plus is truly a senior. But we get, so, so you know this campaign of I love this, and I know we're not supposed to say boat, but we are selling boat rides. I love this boat, I love this everything. The love boat, 
The love experience isn't about romantic love. It's more than that. It's the love of culinary, the love of culture, the love of each other, the love of food, wine, you name it, whatever is your passion and your love. Hence why it works so well. I love this excursion. You love to be culturally immersed. You're going to get that. And you can do it across every single possible age demographic. And that was the beauty of the studies we did. People love this brand. Let's talk about all of the new ports. So we've got uh, <clears throat> Fort Lauderdale, of course, Galveston, Port Canaveral, and then, and then Boston, Yorktown, Greenland, and San Francisco. Go for it. So it's a home port strategy. That's what I want to call it, right? <clears throat> Everybody thinks of Princess because we did start in California. We're a California company. Um, again, the love boat. So we have so many home ports in California, but the reality is the world has changed, right? I mean, you know, air, airplane flight, d right. flight costs are right. incredible. So we really wanted to bring our princess experience to home ports in North America. So whether it's Fort Lauderdale, we're there. For, our offices are in Fort Lauderdale. As you're going to board a beautiful princess ship, there's our gorgeous. Drive and sail. Absolutely. So Port Canaveral was really very strategic for us because the drive market into Port Canaveral, I mean, you're talking Georgia, you name it, even West Coast Florida, it's very drivable. Galveston, second season in Galveston. Galveston has been such a surprise. First season, we were so successful, fully sold out. Now we have the ability to say we're gonna be there time and time again. Boston's very unique because it's round trip Boston and you're looking at Yorktown, talk about, I mean, think about it. 26 what's what's happening in our country oh. and we will be there to to go and walk the steps of history um, San Francisco we all know about San Francisco Seattle which is phenomenal and LA but I look at Boston I look at Fort Lauderdale Port Canaveral is gonna be huge for us Galveston has been mm -hmm. um, so we have a whole bunch of options and I need folks because we're the destination leaders, and of course we have Love Alaska, but we have so many different itineraries that you can get to from North America. I need people to start thinking in that home port fashion, mm -hmm. so to speak. Let's talk about what's coming new next year. The sun revolves around you, Alan, and it revolves around all of our travel partners. I'm serious, this is gonna be a game-changing ship. First of all, I want to thank the Corporation Carnival for trusting us. It's a sphere class. First, we have Sun, February in the Med. Then she will be in Fort Lauderdale in October doing Caribbean voyages. It is a game changer for our brand from the different reserve collections, signature. It really brings a, like a luxury feel. My most, ex and I love the sphere. I love the dome. I love the Princess Theater, which is like theater in the round. Just imagine you know, the dome by day, it's kind of like Santorini, and then in the evening it becomes South Beach. The Cabana Suites, that is where I am, like just, I'm, I'm telling you, it will change the industry. So that's that's where the stateroom has a cabana in the midsection, and it can be opened or closed. So let's just describe it to them. Full suite. Full suite. Then you have your, veranda, your regular veranda, as right. you would have, right. but then you have a cabana veranda. So just imagine, that kind of space or temperature controlled or all, open all you can do either one so just imagine just opening it up it's the size of this suite is again i'm an introvert you know i yeah. wouldn't i wouldn't leave right. the cabana i would be in my cabana suite the whole time i don't need right. to everything is there they have their own deck they have their own all of the amenities are there for them so i think it's a complete game changer in our industry and i cannot wait for sun to arrive and then stars. I was going to say to the year later. So what, what are the differences going to be? Their sister ships. Okay. Well, you're, you're gonna you're gonna make tweaks. They always do, like everything. When you have the first class of ship, you have learnings. Let me tell you, I've seen pictures from the shipyard. This ship is so advanced. I mean, it's pretty impressive. And we've been on Discovery, so many of the wait staff are going to be on sun, and they're telling me how excited they are. So it is just a whole new level of princess that I think folks are going to be blown away about and I'm just excited to be part of this ride right it's really unique and different so uh, let's let's we got a, over 125,000 travel advisors listening they know about the love boat these are the new love boats uh, give them some kind of uh, final uh, message so the message is really simple it's appreciation right I mean love of what you've been through you're not 
surviving anymore. You are thriving. We cannot be successful without you. Our travel partners are critical. That was the goal that I had when I came in to change our relationship with our travel advisor distribution channel and we have and that's our commitment to you and it will continue i have an amazing team of professionals our sales team our national accounts team they're so committed to you and we are here for you i want to be a pleasure to do business so thank you for the support continued support partnership loyalty and just know that all of us here truly truly appreciate what you do for us thank you thank you for hosting us thank you for hosting avoya and uh i'm humbled they entrusted this conference to us. To me, that is, I don't even know how to thank them, right? And, and truly, I think having them experience it, and I've talked to so many of the advisors of the IA saying, I did not think of Princess in this fashion. But I'll tell you the biggest compliment, I don't call them competitors. It's other partners, other cruise companies, other suppliers that are here coming up and said, we're wowed. And that's the beauty of this industry. We're all in it together. There's no such thing as a bad cruise. I'm sorry, there isn't. We're in the happiness business. And to have someone come up and say, we love this brand, thank you. That's it, they, I'm done. They know there's, the products are all good. They just gotta find the right guest for the right product. Align them, absolutely. Normally I drop the mic, but I won't do that okay. to you, Alan. Right. That'll be my job after we sign off. This is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.